Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. So I have this little demo of Cypress testing the chat application. And I have a lot of tests as you can see, right? Everything from chatting to creating users to using data session to using site task and so on. And sometimes I'm not sure if a test is really working or not. And I just want to run it. And I don't want to run it locally. I want to run it on CI to make sure it doesn't have flake. Now I did set up Cypress Grab in this project. So if you look at my plugins, there is Cypress Grab in the support file, there is Cypress Grab. So I can selectively run the tests locally. But how do I run the tests on CI and only run specific tests? So let's look at my config YAML. I'm running the tests on Circle. So I'm using Cypress Orb. I set up parameters like grab and grab tags. So these correspond to what Cypress Grep expects. In my workflows, I set up two jobs. One is the job that runs install and runs the change specs, and then if they pass, runs all the tests. So this is my default kind of full test. And notice it's not running when I have grep or grep tags, because I want to run all the tests. If I have grep or grep tags, I'm running this job which is called some tests. It's a workflow with a single install job. And if everything is installed, then it runs filtered end-to-end -end test job. In this particular job, I'm using group and a tag. But the most important thing is that I'm passing the grab parameter, grab tags, and grab burn, which is Cypress grab environment variables. All right. So I can invoke this pipeline and if I pass the grab parameter or grab tags, then only some tests will run. In this video, I'll show how to actually start a workflow easily from your local machine. So that I don't have to go to CircleCI app, you know, fiddle with parameters and make sure it just runs. To do this, I'm going to use another utility that I've written called run sci on CI. <laughs> My little funny name. Okay. So I need to install it as a dev dependency. I could use it as a global tool or just using NPX directly, but I like installing all the dev tools and storing the versions in package.json files. So I know it works correctly and I don't accidentally use a different version. Okay. The next thing I have to do, I have to create a local .sa.ini file. I already have it. Oh no, I don't have it. Okay. How do I? I do have it. Okay, so right now it's just storing some local uh, MongoDB and Redis connection that I'm using when I'm running this using Docker locally. So what do I have to do to be able to trigger the test on CircleCI? Well, I need a couple of things, right? So I need to create a, sec a session called run sci on CI. And I'm not going to store the token. I could put my circle set token here, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to use as a, as a global utility and I already have it installed. And somewhere in my user profile folder, I have as a and I file, but has a session section called circle set user. That's where my token is. I don't store it in a local as an I file, but I actually git ignore. So to avoid uh, uh, committing my token accidentally. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, that just tells us what's the Circle CI organization name and the project name, which map exactly to the GitHub folder. I mean, the GitHub uh, project name. Okay, so what else? Well, now we just have to trigger the test. That's it. Okay, so which test do I want to run? Let me just find something. Uh, data session. Okay, let's just write, has the kitchen. I want to run this test, let's say, a couple times. So here's what I will do. As a circle CI user, right? So this, um, uh, no, right here. In my home profile, I have circle CI user session that just injects the circle CI API token. I could just do this, right? And my token right here, and then I could do it in PX run sci on ci da 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 right but i'm not gonna do that because i don't want to remember the token i'll just say just read it from that file and apply it globally 
as environment variable. And now I'll say grab, and what's my grab has kitchen, and let's burn it, let's say, five times. Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, I have to install it, I guess, this version of Node, because I'm using NVM, doesn't have it. Okay, let's try it again. Perfect. Notice it triggered new pipeline, right? And it even displayed the workflow that was triggered. And the workflow is called some test. That's the workflow we have in our Circle CI for running tests using grep pipeline arguments that are right here. Okay, so let's take this URL, open our browser and go there. Notice we are on this branch. You can pass the different branch name, you can pass the tags, all the jazz. You can even control the number of machines as a parameter when you run Silent CI, and you can pass additional uh, parameters by putting them into as INI um, block. So let's wait for the install to finish and then for filtered end-to-end -end tests job to run. I'm going to open it, spinning the environment. All right, so it attached the workspace. And now notice how it's passing the environment variables, the ones I entered. Grab has the kitchen, no grab tags, and I want to run that test five times. Okay, let me refresh because Circle CI had problems showing the live output. Okay, so what do we have? Cypress Grab says, okay, I'll see which specs have has the kitchen test. It found just a single spec file, so it doesn't run our test that will not run. And data session, okay. And notice it ran it once, burning one out of five. Then it ran a second time and so on. So it finished all five tests. So by using run CI on CI, we can easily from the command line trigger the workflow, right? And run specific tests, a group of tests using tags. We can run them multiple times. We can pass additional primers and so on. So check out run CI on CI.